Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. So, I want those uh, those UPND and uh, other people that were saying, I mean, things are bad everywhere and you are saying things are bad everywhere. So how come today you are saying Haka Inde Ichilema is bad? Uh, that is what I want to, to touch on today. I want to touch on that issue. I want to give you the difference between Haka Inde Ichilema and Edgar Shagwarungu. I want to give you the difference and uh, uh, I want you to know that from my point of view, UPND is gone. The only thing that is remaining is the people of Zambia to take an action. These videos that, are, that I'm making these days for 20 hours is to you to take action. Me, I know I'm going to be jailed, but the only way you are going to honor me and Zambia is to make sure that you take action in 2026 or if we are going to have elections earlier, because it is possible for us to have elections earlier. I mean, we determine, we are the Zambians, we are the ones that made the constitution. The constitution did not make Zambians. We Zambians made the constitution. So if we want, we can actually decide to have elections earlier. And if we can have elections earlier, it's even better because then some of us will not take long in prison. Uh, we know we are destined for jail. So the, 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 our hope is in you Zambian people to take action to make sure that we can have an election even earlier. If we have elections even earlier, we kick out President Haka and the Ichilema because he has failed. And uh, I was just even thinking about this. Somebody, you know, was talking to me and, um, you know, he made me uh, remember this, that actually even most of the MPs are gone. Really, if you look at the, um, the members of parliament, our UPND, how many really are standing politically? Many of them, they are dead politically. They are moving corpses. They are dead politically. They are not going anywhere. They are dead. And they are dead. Some of them, they are actually good MPs. But Haka Inde Ichirema is going to make them lose elections. Because most MPs, this, is the, this, this, this term has been the worst for members of parliament. It has been the worst. Not that most of these members of parliament are bad. No. But because of the bad policies of Haka Inde Ichirema, now my MPs, Bale Moneka, useless. Are my MPs, Bale Moneka, useless? Muma nanikano, muma communities. Bale Moneka, useless. Muna nduwa wako Haka Inde Ichirema. This very CDF that he has brought at CDF, CDF, and yet they are not giving the, uh, the, the total amount at the right times. It has caused problems in, 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 in the constituencies. There are problems in the constituencies. When you hear Waka Inde Ichirema, Barita Kisha, you know, CDF, like, he has done what? No. He has actually messed up most MPs because it is difficult for them, you know, to implement those projects using the CDF because that CDF of, 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 of Waka Inde Ichirema, it doesn't go on time. And even when it goes, it doesn't go according to what they want, you know. Some of you who have done budgets, you know when you do a budget to say this is what I'm going to do and I'm going to do it tomorrow. And if that money doesn't come tomorrow, eh, tomorrow is Thursday, it comes on Friday. 
it is already an inconvenience. And then when it comes on Friday, instead of coming 1,000 kocha, it comes 500 or it comes 300. It makes things so bad. Unless we have a general budget, budget, but could if we have a caramba, as who make budgets, we do understand what it means when you don't receive the money at the right time, or when you don't receive the money uh, that the amount that you expected. So there are a lot of problems in the constituencies, and I'm sure those who are in the constituency development uh, in the in the community development committees. They are able to agree with me that there are problems in the constituencies. Bahaka Indigenous has created problems with his bad policies. They lie that no, they are giving money to the communities, they are giving, they are decentralizing. Unfortunately, that money doesn't reach to the communities. So you are busy today, Mashak, you are busy boasting around, the news was flying around. Hey, Haka Indigenous has employed 300, whatever, whatever. Bushaimwe, mule mwana kwa ti inchi tofe ni mu health, ni mu, ni mu, ni mu public service fe. Inchi to, ni shima teachers fe na ma nest, na, na ma health workers chapwa. Ne? Ii mwe ba UPND. Ii mwe mule mwana ti inchi to, ni mu teacher fe, na mu nest, inchi to fe chapwa. Because you are busy talking and boasting about, hey, we have employed people. You are just, ama, ama teachers fe, na ma nest chapwa. Kwa di wala nanikani? Va extension officers, eh? Quali va va vetre va vet, eh? Ama veterinarian. So kwa quali va va pharmacist. I mean, there are a lot of people that needs to be employed. Kwa sababu na va accountant, kwa sababu na va business administrator. There are a lot of professions. So this nonsense of just keep on, hey, hey, wakule kafi, wakule kafi. Pali three hundred d health wenga zawadi wumbakona ntani ku covid, eh? Is that your development? Alana mufirwa bane. Na mufirwa. And most of you MPs mulea. Look at Musaka. Eh? Look at Musaka. Mule njeva tiwa ahimbe kutipa kwa kira Musaka Centro. Mule njeva tiwa ahimbe waka kwa kira Musaka Centro. Kwa ahimbe na abaya. Na abaya. Valide, valide ni mwishu shino shinshabu minister. Kwa 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 but he did more because Mulusaka Centro Tabaka Itambe. And if anything, Mulusaka Centro, I might actually contest Mulusaka Centro myself. Eh, I might contest Mulusaka Centro. So, Vaimbe, Muipe Kanye, Nesa Mukumironga Shamusaka Centro. Nesa Mukumironga Shamusaka Centro. Gana Monaco Chava, to come on of Chicap. Nanka prison in Shimashuka. But in Ganshaka FM prison, our Mukalonga, a Pelopanibu president to fill Tonton Kanyepo, we know Sam at Tonton Kanyepo, or Tonton Kanye fast, fast to be possessed, Tavane to possess the initial one of a what in Tampa to Tamumba, they were politically strategic. The point is that I think Balungu, Tien to Babi Kepof, Balungu is the only one who is sought. Whoever we have to put there, we we'll have to start selling him and whatever, whatever. So, I tend to work with Chef Fibaru. Now, I'm over a room with Chinchilla Niko. Chinchilla Niko, Tampenu, Kwangwanyo, 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 Tampenu, which is not prepared to catch store of a shan. You value me union in my elections. They store your election in 2021. You need to make sure that uh, in the next election, they don't steal elections from us. So, in a Palwandi field, I'm not part of Uka, Uka, and I'm going to decide you go, but I mean, you know, Edgar Lungu is already sold out. He's already sold out. I know you can come up to say, no, I can support you. I can support you. Yeah, but I think we are better off having Edgar Lungu. I win my elections. Then we work out on the constitution. On the constitution. constitution. Then 2031, 20, 20, to say in Giramon number to catch the compete. In a Monday, we need to propose to all opposition that let us run behind Ed Garungu, let Ed Garungu run for one team. I got to poke a record, got to poke a then we decide to try, we start fighting. I'm not saying this that Ed Garungu is funding me, Ed Garungu is no, no, I'm not. I'm just saying this out of reason because. I think it is obvious that Ed Galungu is already sold out. He's a sold out candidate. He's already known 
ukuri concept ya bantu aba mwishiba na ku southern province na aba mwishiba eh ero na aba mu bakaraye bakwata aba at least ali ko you know because they have seen and this is where i come in to tell you about the difference between ted galungu and haka in the first of all i want to but trace the point that globally there is a challenge in terms of prices prices have gone up prices have gone up because when you look at the, the oil um and the the, the the price of oil it has gone up it has got nothing to do with hh agreed when you look at um, uh, uh, issues relating to fuel uh, relating to um, what is this fertilizer uh, and other things really they are not dependent on hh this is a fact whether uh, um, whether hh and don't come prison whether and don't get prison it is a fact however there is a point that we need to to take there is a point that we need to take and the point that we need to take is what i kind of actually myself was saying at it is not the issue of climate it is not the issue of global it is the issue of leadership but haka in the hdm has failed on leadership that's why he has failed not that ed kalungu did the best ed kalungu had his own weaknesses but when you look at haka in the hdm and ed kalungu ed kalungu is better therefore mungu mkemu no wino sana itenko na bambi mwikale pa muso mwikale 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 take a leaf kuna punch so that to launch a new one we know i want to give you why ed galungu is better than me haka inde hichilema i want to tell you iten kona bana msonga po bese bese go mfwe ko the four non the level no we know the difference between haka inde hichilema and ed galungu in terms of leadership i'm not talking about them whatever whatever i'm talking about leadership here So yes we have got challenges admitted we have got challenges admittedly so we have got challenges but you have to remember that these challenges have not started today we had challenges even during the time of pf during the time of pf pf came into power at the backdrop of the aunino this very aunino what we are, we are talking about we had aunino during the time of rb and pf came in pf also was greeted by aunino apart from that pf had challenges of economic meltdown we which economic meltdown yeah, which brought the copper prices to go down very low you know very low those were challenges we don't have economic meltdown now but the pf but with the economic meltdown and by that time it was actually basata by ed galung was taking over um you know when things were were you know a little bit not uh, not so good which made by ed galung to withdraw if you remember basata started massive infrastructure development okay he started massive infrastructure development when ed galung came in he had to cancel some of the projects which were uh, below 80% because at that time we were facing economic meltdown we were also facing the drought that we are talking about and basata was borrowing money this borrowing that we talk about borrowing 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 what was the purpose of borrowing the purpose of borrowing was for economic for for developmental projects it was for developmental project so ba ba pia ba pia di na kwa tas huge propaganda they have got a very good propaganda which makes a uh, ba pf look like fools like ba pf they were borrowing money just to go and dance eh party after party but no the economic the the, the projects the, the the debt the debt construct con contraction which ba sata entered into because mostly ni ba sata ba tambi Basata entered into those dates because of the uh, massive developmental projects that he had embarked on and he had embarked on those economic 
uh, development based on the good economic uh, indicators that we had. When, Vasata, when PF came into power, everything was going right. Our GDP was growing at 7, 7, 7, about 7.2. 7.2. Epoyari, 7.2. And that is when Vasata engaged in borrowing money, I am a European and whatever, whatever, because the economic outlook, if you are a Moneka winner, Unfortunately, unfortunately, things turned around because of the economic meltdown and, of course, the, the drought that we, 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 we started experiencing. And so when Edgar Lung was coming in, he found this trouble. We are borrowing too much. Copper prices have gone low. We have got drought. We can't continue. We need to suspend some of these projects. And that is how a lot of projects were stopped at that time. Now, here already you are seeing leadership. Here already you are seeing leadership. Edgar Mungu saw that he slowed down the developmental projects. He said, ah, let's slow down. Let's slow down. In terms of in terms of uh, in terms of drought. Uh, IMF, this issue that we are talking about here, yeah, IMF and whatever, whatever, they kept on coming. Okay? They were coming. Can we come in and help you? What was the response of Edgar Lungo? Edgar Lungo refused. Mamona, difference. Yes, in the Lama Shire Kuela, Tuambo, Shambo Kulafla, in Kongole Shire Fula, and by IMF, we want to come in and help you. Okay? We want to give you a bailout package. Okay, and before the COVID died, Isa, this is even before COVID came in. And HH Edgar Lungu refused. Why did H, why did Edgar Lungu refuse the bailout package? Even just when he came in, because this bailout package was there. Why did Edgar Lungu resist the bailout package? He refused the IMF pro program because IMF has always been wanting to control the economies of the country and they come up with these proposals. But he refused. Why did Edgar Lungu refuse? Edgar Lungu refused because he realized that the IMF project was going to bring sufferings on the people, was going to bring suffering to the people. And already that is the difference that we have. Haka Inde Ichirema has accepted the IMF projects. He has accepted the IMF projects. And these IMF projects are the ones that are, are now giving us harsh conditions. Now, some of you, you will say, no, uh, uh, PF had a lot of debt in terms of fuel. Uh, they, they were not paying because of uh, the, the subsidy and whatever, whatever. You can argue like that. You can argue like that. But the issue is, the issue is, HH has accepted the IMF projects to remove subsidies and part of the IMF package is to allow some concession tax, uh, tax holidays, some tax concessions on the mines. This is the IMF agreement. It's part of the IMF agreement. Allow mines to op not to pay certain taxes. Particularly, some of these uh, royal uh, mineral royalties. Don't let them not pay. Let them not pay. Let them uh, make profit so that when they make profit, then they can increase investment. And when they increase investment, you will be able to produce more copper. And when you'll be producing more copper, then you can start taxing. That is what has been taught to our kind of HDM. I hope you have followed up. I was soon by side, but I went to Zambia. We have a pillar. I'm a subsidies. For me, I'm a subsidies. I'm a subsidies. Who is for me? I'm a subsidies. Could you feel for me? I'm a subsidies. Could you electricity for me? I'm a subsidies. Could you fertilizer for me? I'm a subsidies. Could you farming input? Mamona, this is what I am ever said. Deprive Zambians of these benefits, deprive them. And instead, give benefits to foreigners so that when these foreigners make money, then the money they can 
invest it back into the businesses. On the other side, Ed Galungu, when they gave him the same deal, Ed Galungu and the PF actually started with Basati. They refused. They refused. They refused. They said, no, mines have to pay taxes. And they even come up, came up with a harsher polish, policy. They came up with a harsher policy. What policy was that? The money should be coming back into Zambia. Eh? You know, they came up with the, a forex control. They introduced what when they introduced forex control. So that I mean mines were not allowed, for example, to take out a certain amount of dollars. And they wanted monies to be coming back. And they said we are not going to give you tax refund until you bring you bring back so much money. So when copper goes back, goes out, because Ama mines when they buy Ama machineries, Ama machineries. They are given back a, a, a what is this a, 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 a excise duty. They are given back. But Kwanda said, we will not give you that money until Ngawatwala Kopa. Ngawatwala Kopa 30 million. Mpaka 30 million ya wena Muzambia. That is when Tuala Mpere 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 Shere. Ngatayu Shere Idia. Ngatashi Shere Shere Ndarama. Nisitwa Mpere. A, ama tax claims. We will not give you your tax claims. You have to bring back the money. Then when it comes back, then we'll give you the tax claims. And our song was fully run the election. By that time, I was running Zambian Voice. They were even they even called me our song was issued for the Intercontinental, and I'm one of those people that was called by Intercontinental to speak against the government. They were telling us to speak against the government. And if they, we speak against the government over that policy, they were going to give us funding. In an arikene, I agreed with Wachwanda. I agreed with Wachwanda. So, if you look at the, those policies, those policies, I'm a policies of PF, those policies, they favored the Zambian people. They favored the Zambian people. How did they favor the Zambian people? They refused to remove subsidies. They refused. Ukwebati, ama foreigners, they should not be paying taxes. They said, no, they should pay the taxes. They introduced the taxes, even mineral royalties, they introduced it, they brought it. And they were so bad for the They came, and they were so no to win the continental party. We were called by some of these Wazungus. And one of the embassies, even one of the embassies called, called us. Eh? They told me to organize radio stations to go to one of these embassies. We went there and they told us, no, you should speak against this. I told the people that I invited, because I'm the one that, that invited them. I told them, if you have a solution for them, they've quit their man. In simple terms, the PF, their, their policies were pro-Zambia, especially pro-poor. Amas policies, yeah. The difference which is there now, Bahaka Inde, each name, Ama policies yao, they are pro Western, they are pro the rich, they are pro capitalist, they are capitalistic policies. And this is where the difference is. So I agree with you, there were there are problems. We are pro we have problems now. The difference is that the government that we have, it is more inclined to the foreigners. It is not aligned to Zambians. If I were to ask you, what is this government doing for the Zambian people? How? What is it doing? What is it doing? Don't tell me about uh, social cash transfer. No. I don't need social cash transfer. You don't need social cash transfer. Social cash transfer is for the vulnerable. But you and I, the middle class, we need to survive. We need opportunities. And how do those opportunities come? Those opportunities come by government creating a cushioning, you know, some of these things. For example, cushioning fuel, cushioning electricity, cushioning, you know, agriculture. So that to a tukuka, especially that we are having these challenges. So if we are having challenges and then they are even grabbing the little that we have, things become even worse. So I hope you understand the standing we know, we know, Sana.
In simple terms, if I can break it, I can simply break it to say, Haka ime ichirema is pro-foreigner and the rich. Is pro-foreigner and the rich. Haka ime ichirema wa kuba kuba ni badia wa wina. Eh? Ale afwa aba wina wa nankwe. Ewa ale afwa. And if the room on the other hand, ale afwa aba pina wa nankwe. Pandi waku cha wama alishwa uchushi. Baka ime ichirema. Vena, bai... Vasungu ba ya nomba, vasungu. Vasungu, baanda na vasungu. Muna muna nga baku wana vasungu fuhu mfuhu nga waka indichina. Eko waku ukila. Imo mwena Zambia waka indichina, matapadi chenu. Tapadi chenu kufuma kuli waka indichina, matapadi chinshi chilipu. Chinshi chilipu. Na mwili shanya, mwili shanya, shanya. Waka indichina, matawaku mfuhu. Tawaku mfuhu. Elo ndeme ba tawaku mfuwe, ala tawaku mfuwe ba haka inde ichilema. And because of that, whilst yes we have these challenges, because of the attitude of ba haka inde ichilema, iya kutemu waba au inaba na au, we are in problems. And we are going to suffer, and we are going to suffer more. We are going to suffer more. So a difference here, ba etika lungu vena ba sakamana haba nu. Nga, ama policies ya wale tondoka ni nga nga tuwa chite finga wa ndu. Nga nga tuwa chite finga wa ndu. Baka inde ichile maa. Wena wapenda fema figures ya muwela. No, we will start producing 3 million metric tons. Then we will be collecting so much. Then whatever, whatever, whatever. Ama figures ya wa mumutwe. Haa wa mumuela. Minu wa wa ndu wale chula. Echimochi nana wa gari nkombu. Vagari nkombu na wu, na wu wa mumu tuwe, you know? He thinks about the rich, he doesn't think about the poor. And no, it's okay to demolish whatever, whatever. It is okay. No, because it went to, it, it was a court order. Who went to court? Who got whatever injunction? Who is this one? Who is this one, by the way? Who is the owner of that Munyaure market? Who is the owner? Who is the owner? And you'll be shocked that the person that has, uh, that has gotten that land is not even Zambian. We have many situations where foreigners have broken a number of houses. A number of houses. A number of houses. We even have this minister. Eh? This minister. Eh? My name is Frank Tad. I don't want to man. I don't want to man. Because who would take who would take wawa wina? Aba pina you have no space. Aba pina they will just come and run you over. It doesn't matter. They will just run you over. Who is a kupita pofi? Ba kunyani tapo no kunyani tapo. Tapa di ofodi. Ngori mu pina mu take wawa kende chile ma tapa di chove. That's why aba mama na nkele mama kitiyas na ma street vendors. Ba le ba chita kwati. Ba le ba tiri ta kwati nimboa. Ba le ba tiri ta kwati nimboa. Eh, imbo na yoyi dea pena kutamba pe fusek 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 fusek. They don't care. Nga chako wa tiba gani mkombo wa liwa serious nifo wa ne na ma polisi ziyawo. Nga wata mpito wa Forex 27. Ba li nandile ukwe wa tinga tuwasa mpa watu katowa. Ini ishita wa ina tobe la. Why haven't they gone there kuwa 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 wino kia tuwa mand. Ukukumbi kuwa liwa tobe la mand. Eh. Awa ichewa ni watu bila tumana nki na tumana booth, bala wanse ba watu bila tumana booth, eh? Bala wanse watu bila tumtemba, mshirini shwa le chitashino nishiku, fin shwa le dia. How are they surviving those people? How are they surviving? Do this government think about them? Do they ask? I mean, how these people are going to survive? No, they don't. They don't, because for them it is for the rich. That is it. That is it. Vaka indichile ma they don't think about the poor. Ama minds, imo ba di mpoka ma subsidies. Ba pela, instead ba pela ma subsidies. Kuma foreigners. Eko ba pela. Aba win. Abe le ba minds. Ebo ba pela. Ero nga di ma minds one day tukali randa po idiriyashi. Ala mule mfuwa cha ama mind wa reishita. Ama mind wa reishita. E ba chakutu na wabika mtu na wabika mtu wande dan fifte. Eh, eh, shani, shani, mupani na waleta shaku chakutu. One day, tukalilande didiashi. One day, tukalilande didiashi. Ndiye mnye, ama maini, tewa mufialo wa leshita. Nyawa vene, 
Avena aka indi chile na eva rechita mama ini. Eva rechita mama ini. So chile chalo aka indi chile manangu. Mule idisha nga chan chan chan. Na mutu wendu nsikita wale saka mana. Because wendu nchu wale kwa chwa kwa wati. Na wame kinyashu kwa wati. Vasende fintu. Vasende fintu. Vakwa tama kampanyi. Vanonka. Vanonka. Tama saka mene mungu saka mana. Ido wale chitaka mpenaleme wakati waka inde chile magawai sa wa mpao wa nomba Kika wani privatization number two Privatization number two And ya file chitika And file chitika Uma maini eko file chitika Eko file chitika But one day mkadida mene liriashi For today ni for mwishu wakati Uwu kusano mnipati wa lungu na wa HH wakati Wa HH wawu inile kuwa kankala He has gone to the rich he has gone to foreigners. Whilst by Edgar Lungu, he was more inclined, he was more sensitive to the sufferings of Zambians. But Edgar, by Aka Inde Ichinima, he doesn't care. He just doesn't care. That is the difference. Yes, if it be not fishumpa, but by Aka Inde Ichinima doesn't care about Zambians. So that is a difference. And when I'm like, when I'm saying we are better off with you by Ed Galungu, by Ed Galungu, I have a experience. I have a experience. I have a one day. So at least in Gavaisa, I have to correct you. The truth of the matter is that if you have a chance, you have a chance. So we can't say that Galungu is a good chance. But what we can do be rest assured of is that at least bakana chitako consider abantu abama aka inde chima kwa lista consider abantu echo nde bilo kwa tawa aka inde chima bawe tafiri wa tishani vaya nda vaya tuwa wika kumutu kwa iti umutima baka inde chima umutima baka wata liwe liwe umutima wali kosa kwa baka inde chima mwakula chulafi muzambio mndemi wa mwakula chulafi ina ndemi papata mwevantu ndemi papata Ukwe ba tuwa haka inde nchile ma tia nituwa fumepo, tia nituwike po mtu wa kwa tina kwa tako mtu. A panga tuwa aloreshe, tapari yo nde mwona. Echo nde la njila edga lungo. Pati nga mwona po mwuti mwanjima na imuata haa, bata hati tia nituye nore. Ina isha ashupa. Nga mwaleto mtu kwe te, ukwe te mo substance. If you bring a person that is substantive, I will go with that person. I will go with that person. I don't owe anything kuli wa lungo. I don't owe anything kuli wa lungo. Yes, thank you very much, but I didn't pay that 20 pin. He had come from a much longer, but I know he didn't pay that 20 pin so that I can campaign for him. No, Kola Ndaba La La, and they could pay if they go out and they could pay that to raise support. Upon that, the men who are coming from Bimova are not going to meet the men who are coming. But they are not going to meet the men who are coming. But they are not going to meet the men You have come to understand me. You have come to understand that I want to have a little under comfort. That is a big lesson that uh, Ed Galungu has learned. I'm sure Ngababu Ekera Kowa Lungu, he will not take for granted, he will not take people for granted. He will listen to what people are saying. Because what first Valungu ama tuya di shinkika, nge fine waka inde ichi ni maya shinkiki. No, but since na beka la kopanshi, tuwa ni beka di kapanshi Valungu. Since na tu beka di kapanshi, hiyo waka wela, I'm sure ama tui ya kesuka. Ama tuya kesuka wakana wumfoku wandu. Wa HH tia wumfoku wandu. Wa HH tia wumfoku di wongzi. Echo nama MPs vene. Nama MPs vene. Nama ministers. Wakala alushida. Because. Wa haka hinde ichile ma. Niwa mano nga ikuwa tide. Niwa yu universo. Vena fiyonse ba di fishiba. Fiyonse ba di fishiba. Takuli yoko ba ya wa haka hinde ichile ma. Ba mbo kumfuwa. Ukuli kwa soko ba ya wa haka hinde ichile ma. Ba pera ma leki chansi. Because bad shishwa fiyons. So ima mama MPs ndifo kumyeba ima muleya imwe. Muleya mwishibe mwishibe fi. Ero unfortunately nem pia tapade shumwa panga. You rely on you rely on utuma 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 allowances. Utuma businesses takwa wa there are no business opportunities in Zambia. We don't have business opportunities. The people who have business opportunities ma foreigners. Awa chindi kwa muzambia ma foreigners. Kulia kuzesko Zesco is one of the big uh, uh, business institutions that uh, contributes a lot uh, in the economy. 
especially of the private sector. This for now deals mostly number foreigners. Big companies that are supposed to be working with Zambians, they deal with foreigners. Factories are not being built because Baka and the HDM are fishy, but they, they, it doesn't even know. And this is another problem. In the moment, Baka the HDM are fishy, but they the HDM are not Baka and the HDM doesn't know. In the nature of the fire, I had to I wanted to work with him so that I could maybe advise him where he could concentrate. Baka and the HDM doesn't even know where to touch. He doesn't know where to touch this economy. He doesn't. But he quite fake doctor, Pamu Lwele. You know, a fake doctor, who has 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 a fake doctor, E wafe wa kwa tawa waka inge ichi ni mwa wafe kapono ufi Baya kuu nchuwala Yo, uyumusewo tuka chitano mbalini Uyumusewo wale ndepo ati baka, baka wawamia Ushe mbudget yomu wawa Tawa wamo mbudget Tawa wamo mbudget So indala mashika fumakwi Bafu mapo, yo, China na India Ewa ashiriko kusaina, na wasaina Nga bali saina, ni ishita file mwone kile fintu Baka inge ichi ni mwa wafe kwa tawa saina Nga bali saina why are things not moving? But hmm? ZNBC now over join a propaganda. At Zambia is going to be the, 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 the fourth biggest economy in the southern region. Hello? What are you talking about? How many countries are in the southern region? How many countries are in the southern region? Eh? Can you compare <laughs> our economy? Our economy is nothing. Look at South Africa. Look at Angola. Zambia will be fourth. You know, creating an impression to a person that like Zambia is fourth in the in the in the country. And yet you are you, you are talking about 31 billion. 31 billion, and at the moment that 31 billion is not even there. Eh? It's not even there. Barely 26, 27 billion. Eh, we Eh? 26, 27 Eh, but you come up, Zambia is going to be uh, the fourth in the region. What is that? What is that? Below even 50. Eh? A GDP which, less, which is less than 50 billion. You bring it on news to hoodwink people to say Zambia is doing well. Echo Muleila, Echo UPND Leila. Mwemena zambia, kane ni ufi. Echo ndifo kumyeba. Number one, mkano ufu wabaka inde ichi. Mwisumi nukwa iti wabaka inde ichi mwabake sewe po ufu na elections. Ah ah. Mwisumi na. I mean, ni ichi na imu mwa 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 pundu kashani. Eh? How naive can you be? How indoctrinated can you be to come and accept the lines of wabaka inde ichi ni ma again? What we were? What will Waka and HDMI come and tell us in the next election? What is he going to tell us? What is he going to tell us? What is he going to talk about? So na ileisa. Katushinga nipa 15 nipa dewa kesa mkulanda. Finch waka ala ndamu parlamenti. Efe waka ala ndamu parlamenti wa Waka and HDMI finch. Because he will be talking after past his halfway in the term. What is he going to say? What is he? What does he have to show? For his presidency, what does this government has to show for this for their for their leadership? What do they have? They were busy boasting. If you if 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 it's about leadership, there's no one who can learn sala. Things will be cheap and what and what and all sorts of things. Ela tuke se sumi na game ngoba tiba kai ndi chima wote se tu bepa. Eh? Kwat mwana kashi chipuwa. Umwa na kashi chipuwa wa bepa. The Rubai Savamu be Pavamudia. The Mai Rubai Savamu be Pavamudia. The Mai Rubai Savamu be Pavamudia. Ever check a one eye? Shana Chichitongo. Eh? Chichitongo. Because one of the shoe at Chichitongo. 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 Ubu fukwa ba haka inde ichi ni manarebo. Chimu nukwati ni mwa chitongo. 
Chibuno kati mwa baji tongo. Mwa li, mwa li pua lala. Eh? Mwa li pua lala. Because really you can't allow Haka in the HDMI to continue lying. Haka in the HDMI should be walking with his head down. He should be walking with his head down. Apa tu afika? Ayo, afika wale inga finama kwa nita mana panji. Ufunga bae vela tu pagisa wa 50 kwa cha. Ufunga wa kuli 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 free chaku chuku. Eh? Ufunga na kuli 400. Eh? Avantu, avantu ba mumishi. Mwe ba mumishi. You rose up to vote for waka in the HDM. Wakuli kufunga kwa yadaba ibiye. To vote for waka in the HDM at Fertilizer Eka Chupi. Fertilizer Eka Chupi. Hmm? Farming input, farming input, now you have a malo malo. They have failed to manage the farming input. Iyo zesko, alena, dee, zesko, 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 zesko. Udiyawa wako udiya tima pane uli. Eba dee diyafi. Vare diyafi zesko, yalu ike nomba kam fukwe mfukwe. Eh? It's a milking cow. Where they just have to make money, that's it. There is nothing that is happening at zesko, nothing. There is nothing that is happening at Zesco. Ababa ntuna wafidwa. Baka ndi chile mana wafidwa. Mwebe na zami ya tamufu yokonka nyapokula wepo wana abata. Tamufu yokonka nyapokula wepo. You can't continue being cheated. You need to say no enough is enough. So waka ndi chile mana. Nga wale pita. Mwila punda kunde. Mwile punda fati nsala kuya wewele. Insala kuya bebele. Insala kuya bebele. Let us kick out Haka in the Ichilema. There is nothing that we are waiting for him. There is nothing that he is going to do. Ndana wafiru kuchita wakati nikonzo kwa popo wa ishiri. Hafu wena wafiru kuchita filifiyonzo. What do you think they are going to do? Eh? Kukwa shawo kutureo kutubika kuna kampeni. What do you think they are going to do? They will do nothing. So nishitu wala wasumi la Haka in the Ichilema. And why are we going to allow Baka and Dechina to continue lying to us? Bale, ya, bale, ya, bale, Baka and Dechina, bale. But upon the end of the day, bale, ya, bale, ya, Baka and Dechina, what you have to know is that Niva nyera mkwiba my elections. Niva nyera mkwiba my elections. Mu 2021, bali vila my elections. Baka and Dechina did not win with a landslide of one million, no. They, he did not win with the landslide of one million. He had a vote here one million. I have to make only three provinces. Ya kui, bale funti kamufi, bale funti kamufi, bale funti kamufi, and that's how even the number is that big. That's how the, even the number is that big. At no opposition cannot rig an election. They were sophisticated. They had studied everything. They had brought experts, and these experts are still with them. So, imwe pande wa nomba tibagungu na imwe kwa mkwa nyeni. Electro committee, if they are po, ya kuchita investigate, ya kuplan na my elections, ya kawako shani, you need to plan. You need to plan. You need to work on security especially. You need to work on security. Ya kwa tinga, nga fi poka poka, tampeni ukwa efi poka poka, if ya kia chita monitor my elections, ukuku ino ukubai pek, ukubai pek kungo. Eh? Kumai pere kungo southern province, at least he is making sure. Then let us make sure that the Ramafika Zingarisa, Mule Achita Kutu, PVT, eh, Achan, eh, Vota, Vota, PVC, PVC or PVT, PVT. Itampe kono mbali ne, start investing money in making sure that we safeguard the elections. Because we have to make sure that we have and the number of security win. Ni mwa wa mwa chita protect ya mwa president. Don't accept wa haka ibi nchi ni mwa to use you to perpetuate his power. Don't. Don't. Sana sana ibi ni you people ama juniors. Because hawa kumuru kuja wala diya kuni wala mfogwino. But you juniors, you should not accept that an illegal president maintains power. I'm not saying mutiny here. Uh-uh. I am simply saying that let us respect our democracy. Umuntu kana abu sama elections is narusa. Don't allow them to continue being in power. Don't allow our time to lose an election and to continue. Ah ah. 
na imuli bantu muli mena zambia mwali kwa tabana mnafu aba kuma school mnafu aba yako bali yako na nikane e, e, ice cream eh mwali kwa tabana aba kasha aba kashi mnafu ana uba sita ku wigi ya kwa na nikane ya kwa bengombe eh washita ku wigi ya kwa bengombe eh mnafu aba sita ku utwa kufa do tusuma mnafu aba mwali kala ku wino ushena musekera no foto tray kala muli baka inde chirema Why should you continue just like that? Ah, wait. Preserve democracy. You are the pillars of our democracy. You are the pillars of our democracy. No president can be in power without you, the, the people in the, in the security. It is you who protects governments. It is you, therefore, it is you who protects democracy. So promote, protect democracy. Protect democracy in Zambia. Am I elections? Don't allow the Aka Indigenema to rig. Don't allow ECZ to rig. ECZ, the Electoral Commission of Zambia at the moment, it is a rigging machine. It is not an independent body. ECZ is not an independent body. It is an electro, it is an electro rigging machine for Aka Indigenema. That's what it is. Eh? When did you see Electoral Commission coming up, refusing Ama nomination ya mundu. Eh? Because some of you, you say, no, no, you are lying. But the question is, where did you see ECZ refusing mundu? I sam kuchita, mkuchita fa ama nomination. Wakana. Bali mkanine Bomani, bali mkanine Malanji, bali mkanine Patrick. Hmm? Bali mkanine Patrick kuna nikene kuku, eh, kuku Eastern Province. Where did you see that? Those things don't happen. It is not the job of ECZ to start scrutinizing and turning away people, no. But it's happening now. And ECZ is now even allocating votes. They are rigging commission. Electro rigging commission. That's what they are. Electro rigging commission of Zambia. That is what that commission has done for. And reading for Haka in the HDM. We need to stop them. Open your eyes, all of you, me, I'm talking to Zambians. All of you Zambians, it doesn't matter who you are. You could be a, you could be a, you could be a, a police officer, you could be whatever. As long as you are a Zambian, I'm telling you to say, open your eyes, let us defend our democracy. Let us not allow an illegitimate president to rule Zambia anymore. If on them you ever go in the level. Mm. Now, land. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.